along please Never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for my army. <laughs> the citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my citizens! Show the burning humanity's true power! They killed themselves off with their petty wars. Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and pure! Are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Road most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. The, um, Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the Ant Agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The Mechanist saved the town with his robots. 
Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Hmm, you drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. If it'll help, I'm glad to. But one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, it got real nasty. The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town, until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal, because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I most heartily agree. Glad to help, glad to help. You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. When they're in town, you can find the caravan trader out front of the town. They say it's a good way to catch a visitor's eye. Enjoy! Ha! Damn near everything I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans. Known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. That... that certainly is quite a lot of caps. It really would be a shame for those to go to waste, wouldn't it? I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans, talk with them about their inventory. Must keep the customers happy, right? So you just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he's probably got a sharp stick, too. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Excellent! Harith will be delighted! He usually is by most things, really. If Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. But he's a merchant, not a raider, so it's legitimate means only like a legitimate investment of 500 caps. If you insist. 
Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? Our man Crow handles most armor and clothing out on the trail. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel long ago. Sure thing. Interested in any of the other traders? I'm afraid the good doctor hasn't reported in for quite a while. Quite unfortunate, really. That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials, or at least offer more of them. Oh. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Sure thing. Which one would you like to talk about? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. Good luck with those two troublemakers. Something you'll never be. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? This is Canterbury Commons, where dirty old ledgers get rid of everything they picked up on the road. Unless it's not treatable, that is. And I'm Machete. Dom and me make sure nobody starts anything stupid in town. Keep that in mind, okay? Good guess. I was the toughest defender they ever saw in Lamplight. I earned my nickname fighting off a mole rat with a knife as big as my arm. When I left, I figured I'd pass on a cushy place like Big Town. I ended up here. Dom took me on as a guard. And that's that. This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the idiot. What? I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. Busy. Go ask someone else. Later. Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me! But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer! The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. And when they fight in town, it's incredible! There's all these lasers and biting and blood and it's crazy! And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. <sighs> yeah, I guess. There's no one to play with. Everyone is so serious. It really kind of sucks. But the antagonizer's strong and forceful, and the mechanist, he's smart and good. They make things fun. Well, exciting anyway. I bet it's awesome to be them. Maybe they'll let me be their sidekick. You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. I don't know much about her except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city.
I've seen her aunts down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says don't encourage the poor boy. I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot, and I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge in the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless maybe you're going to be a superhero too. You could be called super humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants. Well, okay. Uncle Roe and I live in the Old Town Hall, and Mr. Porter runs the diner across the street. It's not really a big place, you know? It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places, because the raiders don't bother us. But I've never been anywhere else, so I don't know. Say hi to the mechanist for me. Just stumbled into town? He sure picked a fine day for it, with the crazies out there. Here, have a drink on the house. Welcome to Canterbury. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. We do our best. Well, Dom and Roe do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. You mean apart from having cheesy names? Actually, I think I might know something useful. One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before she showed up here. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Sure thing. Where are you headed? You certainly came to the right person. What do you like? Another satisfied customer. They usually sell their stuff out front of the town. Never seem to stick around for long, though. I swear, those boys can't tolerate staying in one place for too long. See you around. Best place I ever worked in, and I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. I don't really see what more men could ask for. Only the best, hand-picked from the wastes. For what that's worth, 